Hey guys, how's it going? Tonight we are gonna go to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. To, I'm gonna DJ at one of my favorite spots there. It's called uh, Wiley's Tavern. And I've been wanting to show you guys my DJ setup. I just I haven't gotten around to it. A lot of work that I've been doing and just haven't gotten around to it. But today, tonight, I'll be showing you guys what I do during the weekends. Also, this is my 100th video on YouTube, so I thought maybe it was a little fitting to uh, to kind of show you guys like what I go through on, on the weekends and stuff when I DJ. So, let's go. As you guys can see, it is snowing, so I'm leaving while there's still somewhat daylight. I'm going early, I'll just set up early and then have a little time in between when I start to DJ to maybe relax a little bit, go through some tracks on my laptop and stuff. But I'm gonna try to beat the snow and try to try to drive in the daylight as much as possible. One thing that sucks about DJing in the winter is that, I mean, don't get me wrong, I actually really love winter and the snow and stuff, but what really sucks is like, the snow isn't so bad right now, it's starting to come down a lot faster, but like the roads and stuff and they're still pretty fine that I have daylight yet for a little while. Um, it'll be dark by the time I get there, but I'll be close enough. But one of the things that sucks is that you have like thousands of dollars, um, you know, sitting in my in my work van or whatever, but like you have to take care of this stuff, uh, like, the, you know, from when I leave till when I come back because these electronics, like the displays, you don't want them to freeze because I've, I've heard about some of the LCD displays, like when they freeze, they'll like actually crack. So like I always have to be conscious uh, when when I go DJ about about my equipment, like where it's gonna be. And not only just that, but when you DJ in the winter, like you always obviously kind of want to leave early. I mean, the weather isn't bad right now, but like if you have like a bad like snowstorm or bad weather, like you have to get to that venue, you know. So there's just like a lot more pressure in the winter to like make sure like you get there safely and everything, and, and you know you have to get there yet. So all right, we are packed up. Hit the road. All right, stopping at the gas station right now to grab something to drink. I think some of you guys might know what I'm gonna grab and drink. Had to grab some monsters. I think the white one might be my like overall like all-time favorite, but I like the tea ones a lot too. The juiced ones I'm not the hugest fan of, but yeah, I was I was recording in there and like people started asking me a lot of questions and I mean it wasn't wasn't like bad questions or anything, but it just kind of kind of got annoying and I didn't want you guys to go through that. So back on the road, Sioux Falls, next stop. Hey, we made it to Sioux Falls. I don't know if the snow just stopped or if the weather is just better here, but anyways. We made it. All right, just getting to Wiley's Tavern right now. Let's go inside. Thanks, dude. I was actually worried that it was gonna be dark in here, but it's actually pretty well lit up. I've actually never seen this booth before, so we'll get, we'll get set up right now. skipped to this part of the vlog because I already ran into one sort of problem. I was about to start like explaining like my DJ setup and how everything works and someone had started playing the jukebox and it was like really loud and unfortunately like I don't think that's gonna go away and I had some time left in between and usually when I do that I just go grab some food and then uh, I'm currently at Penn Studios right now in, in DJ Core's office. See where everything goes after this. 
and I either just chill here until like I have to go back and play, you know, when I get things set up really early, and I always just grab some food and, and eat and stuff. So when I get back there, I'm, I'm gonna do the best I can to try to explain stuff, because I mean, it's just gonna be busier by the time I get back and probably maybe even louder, but I'll figure it out once, uh, you know, once I get back there. Got a bacon cheeseburger. This is burger time in Sioux Falls. I don't know if they have it anywhere else, but you get like a ton of food for like $8 and it's, it's really good. All right, we are back. And what I am running is actually a uh, MacBook Pro. This light is for the computer. The, or this computer is for the lights that you see up there and actually several other lights around the venue. Um, start from left to right, I guess. Uh, control, X1, tractor, CDJs, CDJ 900s. Zone 42 Mixer and Pioneer RMX 1000, right? RMX something. Anyways, um, I don't know why I forgot right now, but basically what I do is I have the uh, CDJ aggregator. It's reading that the CDJs are connected to the computer via USB. I don't have a tracker box. And what I do is I open tractor. Okay, so that activates the uh, Control X1, and what I'm gonna do, since these, the CDJs are connected via USB, I'm going to link them in the HID mode, and I select the deck that I want to select here, which is deck A, and link USB deck B. And what it does now, let's just say that I have this deck loaded over here. It's gonna pop up over here. And that's what's loaded into deck one. And basically what these CDJs are, are they're like uh, pretty much MIDI controllers. As you can see, as I'm turning it here, it's turning it also on the computer. So that's what I use for controls. I think that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple setup. Uh, no tracker box. Everything's connected via USB. Same with the Control X1. The RMX 1000 for uh, effects. Since this is a pretty basic mixer and I don't have any internal effects in it. I just have like filters and stuff. So I use the RMX for a variety of different effects and drum pads and sample pads and all that stuff. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I will try to get as much clips for you guys throughout the night as possible, but my main my main focus will be on DJing, so we'll just see what happens tonight. Hey guys, that's gonna do it for tonight. I really have to get out of here and like um, pack all my shit yet. Uh, I'll just I'll do that and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I just kind of wanted to show you guys like what it looks like afterwards. Yeah. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey, we made it. Back in Iowa now. Things got pretty crazy last night. That's why some of the clips are pretty random like that. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching my 100 videos on YouTube. Hope you guys are having a good time. I'll take you guys on some more adventures and things to come. I think I'm gonna get a new lens because that uh, I'm filming with a 12 millimeter right now and that's just too kind of like distorted I think maybe so yeah I'll let you guys know make some new videos thanks for watching 100 of my YouTube videos <laughs>